Hello everybody, AJ Ryzik here, and for today's Linux OS review, we are looking at Corora 23 Cinnamon Desktop. Now, if you're not familiar with Corora, it is a respin of Fedora, and their goal with this uh, with this distribution is um, to make Fedora more user friendly. And uh, you know, kind of stepping back from that, if you've not used Fedora, it is very stable. Uh, you open up an application. There's never a doubt that when you open an application that it's not going to work. Uh, you know, things just work right out of the box. All that kind of thing is great. However, there's not a lot of software available um, because they subscribe to the theory of only using free and open source, which is cool and fine. But if you are somebody that wants to use somebody that is outside of those parameters, you're going to need to add some third-party repositories and say that Fedora can make that difficult um, is putting it lightly um, I don't think that Fedora is a user-friendly distribution um, at least from the standpoint if you want to add anything that is outside of what is pre-configured um, so that's kind of where Corora steps in they have already set up those third-party uh, repositories at least the, some of the more common ones so that you know you can just sit down at the desktop and get to work install the applications that you want to use and boom you're you're on your way uh, they also do a real nice job of theming the desktop I mean you can see uh, um, you know they got some nice nice wallpapers there um, uh, with the cinnamon layout that I've got right now, which is the default layout, it's a pretty simple layout, but uh, not bad looking. Um, icons are pretty nice looking too. Um, I think that's a, a new mix thing that they're using. So, you know, no complaints with anything there. Um, so, as you can see, you know, they've done a lot to kind of spice things up. So, let's start by taking a look at our default uh, our default cinnamon desktop layout. What you see here is what you get from the factory. I've not made any uh, any changes to the desktop. So we've got our menu button over here on the left hand side and you can either click it with your mouse or you can use the Windows slash super key to open it. And it's the default menu so you got a search built in and some favorites along this side. Um, pretty nice menu although you know some of the other menus that are available for the cinnamon desktop are pretty nice as well then right next to that we've got our display desktop button so if you click on this it minimizes all of your running applications and then click it again it puts them all back in place and then we've got a list of all of our running applications right here moving over to the left hand side we've got a display button so you can see the monitors that I'm running right here and you can make some quick changes if you need to or go to the uh, di display settings dialog and you know make those more detailed settings and then right next to that we've got our workspaces uh, our workspace indicator you can see I'm just using workspace number one right now and then coming over We've got all of our tray icons. So you can see, I got the internet, got uh, volume control. Uh, here's the indicator for simple screen recorder, which is what I'm using to record the video, and then our time slash date right here. As far as desktop backgrounds, there's a decent amount included. If you just go here to change desktop background, you can see we've got all these that are in extras, and then we've got uh, these right in here. So like I said not a huge number but a decent amount and um, all of them are pretty high definition so if you're if you're running one of those high def screens or or super high def screens whatever you want to call it um, they kind of got you covered here uh, so besides all that Plank Dock is installed by default and it is set up on the left hand side. So if you move your mouse over to the left hand side, Plank Dock opens up and they've got it pre installed with, um, I don't know whether it be your favorites, but a fair number of, uh, of uh, applications are already set up on uh, Plank Dock. 
plenty of software installed right out of the box. I think for most people, you're not going to need to install anything. Uh, I need to install a little bit just for uh, doing my screen recording. But uh, like I said, most people, I think you're going to be ready to go right out of the box. So that being said, let's take a look at what we got here. Under accessories, we've got our archive manager, the calculator, character map, gnome disk, ink board. If you need an on screen keyboard, we got that right there. Got the Nemo file manager, got our gnome font manager, font tweak tool, G edit for text editing, G note for note taking. Own Cloud is installed by default, so you just need to set up your sync, and boom, you're ready to go if you are a Own Cloud user. And then Plank and the Screenshot tool. Under Graphics, we've got Darktable, the Document Viewer, Font Manager, the GIMP. I've got our Image Viewer, Inkscape, LibreOffice Draw, Shotwell, and Simple Scan. Under Internet, and I can never pronounce this one, Ekiga. Uh, and I'm probably butchering their pronunciation, so sorry. Ekiga uh, soft phone. We've got Firefox. We've got Hex Chat. We've got Liferia for RSS reading. We've got the uh, Pigeon Internet Messenger, Thunderbird for email, and Transmission for our BitTorrent needs. Under Office, we have the LibreOffice Office Suite. We've got FB Reader so that you can read ebooks on your desktop. Also got our document viewer and GNOME project management. Under sound and video, we've got all kinds of stuff here. Audacity, Brazero, Cheese I added myself. Record My Desktop was installed by default for desktop recording. I installed Simple Screen Recorder just because I prefer that for, for desktop recording. Handbrake is installed by default, so if you need to rip a DVD, you can do that from here. Open Shot for video editing. Um, I already talked about simple screen recorder. We've got sound converter for converting audio files and uh, sound juicer and then VLC media player. Under admin, uh, this is where you're going to find the deconf editor, configuration editor. Fedora live USB creator is here. We've got the simple firewall, uh, gparted, uh, the uh, light DM settings. Uh, Samba settings, print settings, 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 got a lot of settings here. Um, and then uh, down here we've got our terminal system monitor. Uh, Yum Extender, that is their package manager. Um, and I will show you that in, in just a moment. Um, under preferences, we've got, that's where we're going to find our account details. The uh, you can go and play around with the cinnamon applets. Most of the stuff where, that you would find under system settings, that you're going to find that stuff um, in preferences. So, you know, if you go and type system settings, essentially all the stuff that is in, that is in those preferences, you're going to find that here. So, uh, you know, the account details, setting up your applets, date and time, all that kind of stuff is what you're going to find in, in preferences. So let's take a look at the yum extender, which is our package manager. Um, by default, when you open it up, it searches for available updates. Now it's not going to pull anything because I just did an update maybe an hour before I started working on this video, so there's not going to be anything there. But if you could click the little hamburger icon, now you can go and select, okay, instead of updates, I want it to show me everything that's available. Um, and it'll go and search the repo, show you all the software that's available. And you can either scroll through the list, or you can go and do a search. I believe, yeah, you can go and you've got some options over here as far as uh, showing per group and, and that sort of thing. Um, personally, I like the keyboard search just because usually I know what I'm looking for. So like, you know, earlier I installed Simple Screen Recorder. So Simple Screen and boom, you can see here in the green, anything that you've installed is going to show up in green. So, you know, it's right there. Uh, now, the Yum Extender, it seems to be a fairly decent uh, tool. I haven't had any errors, crashes, or anything like that. 
Um, the one downside that I really see with it, it, it is slow. Uh, if you've got a lot of updates, like you know, you just installed your, your system and you need to do that full system update, you're going to be waiting for a while. So, um, but other than that, it seems to work fairly well. Just It's just slow. <laughs> this distribution is fairly lightweight on the resources. Uh, I've got the system monitor open right here. You can see I'm running about 1.4 gigs of RAM is what I'm using. Now remember, that is with running the screen recorder, which is, which is very uh, resource intensive. Uh, I've got cheese running, system monitors running. I've got... Uh, Firefox open here with a whole bunch of tabs open. So, you know, there's plenty of stuff running that uh, that are using up some of this RAM. You can see my CPU usage is fairly light. Uh, and once again, screen recorder is making up for a lot of that. When I was kind of the baseline with no applications running, um, CPU usage was barely registering. I was down in the... Oh, 350 to 400 megabyte range on on um, on RAM usage, so fairly lightweight. Now, kind of continuing along with uh, the Fedora theme of of stable, um, you know, everything has worked right out of the box for me. So, uh, you know, as far as being able to sit down, get to work, not having to worry about something crashing on you, that sort of thing. Um, everything has worked great for me so overall I think this is a pretty good distribution um, if you're looking for a good silent fedora base but you don't want to go through all of the work and hassle of configuring additional repos and and installing a lot of software you know you just some um, want something that's ready to go out of the box I think this is a real good distro for you uh, and you're not limited to just the cinnamon desktop uh, let me drag this over here. This is the Corora homepage or the download page, actually. And you know, I installed Cinnamon, but you've also got KDE, XFCE, Mate, and uh, the GNOME desktop. All of those are are available right out of the box. You just pick which one you want, 64, 32 bit, and then download it. Boom, you're ready to go. So. Uh, pretty nice website too definitely check that out I'll leave a link down below so that you can uh, so you can check out their website but having said all of that uh, I think that about finishes this review up as always leave comments questions all that kind of stuff down below I'll try to get to them as soon as possible if you're not a subscriber please subscribe and I hope to see you all on the next video thanks a lot